Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, January 11th, 2021. Uh, if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US Dollar. And as you can see, we did rally quite significantly on Friday and then gave most of those gains back. So this is not a very good sign for this currency pair. This could be an indication that we are, um, we are about to turn around here and go and test the 40 or the 50 uh, moving average. So we did that in the past. We did it right over here. We did it here and then we rallied. So... If the US dollar starts appreciating, which it looks like it's going to do, it still has some hurdles in the way. There is quite a lot of resistance above in the US dollar index. Uh, but if it managed to break the 20 and the, and the 50 moving average, then we can basically see the US dollar start appreciating, appreciating again. So that will basically mean that this uh, currency pair will basically start declining. But at the moment, the 20 exponential is holding. This is not a very encouraging uh, sign this inverted hammer here but um, if this 20 exponential breaks then we'll go and test the 40 which is 1345 and we have the 50 run uh, right underneath i don't think that we're going to see a trend reversal here but we could see a pull uh, quite a significant pullback similar to the, what we saw here of course this was the brexit negotiations and so on so it should not be as volatile as it was back then but a pullback that is possible however if we turn turn around from here we will target these previous highs at 1370 and a break of this level will go make this market go significantly higher if you look at technical indicators for the daily chart they are looking more and more bearish the macd has crossed the signal line it's still trading above uh, zero so it is still in a bullish momentum but we could expect a pullback in the short run we are quite high in the RSI, so we could expect this to go lower. CCI is becoming negative. Stochastic is very bearish. And if we break this, for example, the middle of the bullish band, which is the 20 moving average, that will send us towards the lower part of the bullish band. And that is roughly right underneath the 50 moving average. We see it right here, roughly give or take around this area here. So that is a fall from where we are now roughly 1.33%. So just keep that in mind, that is possible. We have done it in the past, but the, the, the 50 has turned out to be significant uh, support and so has the 100 moving average. So yes, and if you look at, for example, the weekly chart, so the weekly chart here, we can see that also here in the weekly chart, we are about to turn around towards the 300 moving average. So we're trading just above the 300 moving average, but we are look. It is looking like it is running into exhaustion, and it's about to turn around towards back the 300 moving average. Um, if we look at the at the technical indicators for the weekly chart, we can also see that the MACD is also getting flattened out. It's about to turn around. The CCI, the RSI, is turning around. It was over bought in the weekly chart, so it is also turning around. And if we look at the so if we look at stochastic for the weekly chart, we can also see that it is turning around here and it's going to cross the signal line. So even in <clears throat> sorry, even in the long run, we basically can see that we're probably gonna go lower in this market. However, if the US dollar starts to uh, depreciate again, then the, this market will continue it is its up run. So let's look at the US yen. So we had quite a volatile session on, on Friday. We broke, let me get rid of this. We broke down quite significantly towards the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied above the 50 moving average. So this is a very encouraging sign. However, we have been here before several times. So I've been trading in this channel, this downward um, trending channel, all the way back since the middle of March last year. So when we get to the top, we can basically sell. When we get to the bottom, we can buy. And then we have also had the possibility of selling every time we get close to the 20 exponential moving average, the 40 and the 50. 
So at this point, we have broken the 50, we're trading above the 50, and that is probably a sign that we are going to test the 100 moving average or this trend line up here. I am a seller in this market. I will basically be selling all the way up towards the 100 moving average, and because I am expecting this to just continue. So this is most likely due to the fact that the US dollar has started appreciating and therefore this market is, is um, gaining momentum to the upside. But when we get to this, to the 100 moving average, expect similar things to happen like this. We'll see a massive fall to the downside. Uh, it can take a few days. It can also take one or, 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 or less than one day. So technical indicators for this currency pair are looking very bullish at this point. MACD is bullish, the CCI, RSI, stochastic, but we are outside of the Bollinger Band at this point. So we could see on Monday session this pulling back to the half of this um, of this uh, candlestick that's roughly at 103.735 and then continue upwards. So just keep that in mind. It could also mean that this was basically the top. So as I said previously, the 50 moving average or that area here has also been an area where you could have sh could short this all the way down to the very bottom. So that's basically what I did on on um, Friday. I started shorting it here because, as you can see, the 50 moving average has been an area where this has been rejected numerous times and should also be here. But if we go, even though we go higher, it gives us a better opportunity to short it up here. So let's look at the euro US dollar and. As you can see, we're trading in the high zero of 1234.94. And at the moment, we're trading uh, roughly at 1222.25. So get rid of this. We are still trading above the 20 exponential moving average. So this market could go lower. This could also be an indication that buyers came in here. They expected this to rally from the, at this point. And now we are going to continue higher. Um, there are some indications that we could do that, but I believe that we probably haven't seen the last of this drop. We'll probably go uh, another day with a red candlestick um, closer to the 40 exponential before we turn around in this market. Because the MACD is still trading above the zero, but it is underneath the signal line, so it is indication bearish momentum. The RSI is basically flat at this point, CCI is getting negative, the stochastic is negative, and here in the bullish band, we are trading underneath the 20 moving average. So this is the 20 exponential moving average, this is the 20 moving average. So in the bullish band, if you pay attention to this, this could be a clear indication that we are ready to go and test the lower part of the bullish band. So that is just above the 40 exponential moving average. When I say that we most likely we'll have another day where with a red candlestick where we get closer to the 40. That's basically what I mean. I think that we're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the bullish band, and then we are going to go higher from here. So no interest in basically shorting this. No interest in, probably if we turn around here, I'll start buying it, but I would be interested in basically buying it down here if we get a turnaround just above the 40 exponential moving average. The target would be the previous highs here. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, uh, we have gradually gone lower. This is going to go lower. We are significantly overbought in, in the Aussie dollar, US dollar. We were way outside of the Bollinger Band. This is going to drop towards the middle of the of the Bollinger Band. So where we are now towards the middle, that's roughly there, that's roughly one and a half percent. This is going to fall. Uh, and after that, we are, may see a uh, quite significant rally. So the 20 exponential moving average has been enormous um, support for a very long time now. This is all the way back to, to the beginning of November. It has been just bouncing off the, the 20 exponential moving average, and that is most likely also going to continue. However, we are significantly overbought, so we need a pullback in this market. It is hopeless to buy it here. Pullbacks to the 20, that would help. A pullback to the 40 would even be better. So if we were to go to the bottom of the Bollinger Band, that is basically 
from this point to that point, that is just above the 50 moving average. And that is also a possible um, for this currency pair. I would be basically all over this if we got down to that point. And the reason why I say that is because this number has to go down. It just can't just continue um, at this point. It is way, way overbought. So let's look at US dollar, Canadian dollar. So we rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average and then we gave most of those gains back. I think we're going to see similar things in the next few days. The reason for that is because the, we are significantly oversold here. We are basically at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band that is uh, to ex be expected. This number has to go um, higher in order for us to go significantly lower. Otherwise, we are running into, for example, um, single ditches in the, in the RSI, and then you'll get massive moves like this to the upside. And rather have a pullback towards the 20 exponential or the 40 before going, going lower in this market. I basically no interest in buying this. This is a market that has been in a downtrend for a very, very long time. This is basically in March when we hit them at the top and we have fallen roughly 13.8% since March last year. So at this point, rally up towards the 20 exponential. That is basically a selling opportunity. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.